But yeah, and, and both of these players have actually had some pretty sick wins lately. Uh, Wizrobe recently beating Hungry Box in two sets over at uh, the Optic, Optic Gaming. Or, yep, Optic Arena. Yeah, and uh, I heard Dreffin actually beat Ginger very recently. Ginger, oh, this yeah. up and coming, yeah. uh, up and coming Falco, really making a name for herself. And then he ran into Dreffin, and, and Dreffin took him out. So you know, Dreffin's Dreffin's always one of those names where it's like you know he can do something. He, you know, he he can hold his own against some really good named players, but Wizrobe is, you know, top 15 right now. Yes, yes, and um, looking very strong ever since. He, like, rose to stardom very quickly. Oh, Wizrobe? Yeah, and then yeah, he, he's kind of been sitting, like, pushing. You know, when you get to that very top level, everyone there has risen to stardom. So then in order to go any higher, you really need to uh, find, like, the individual player matches to push past them. But we'll see if Wizrobe... Yeah, yeah, it looks like they're he jumping yeah, right on yeah. into it. So this is going to be Dreffin. That's hilarious. <laughs> Dreffin rocking the Sheik, representing Ohio, versus Wizrobe, representing Florida with the Captain Falcon. We already have a grab from Dreffin. He doesn't get that much off of it. He decides not to go for tech chases. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think that's one of the little tricks. You do the jab ahead of time, and because the Falcon is so focused on, wow, yeah, smashing on the grabs, they don't put out any counter hits. So you just jab them and go for another follow-up, either a forward tilt or an additional grab. But awesome stuff from Wizrobe as he takes that first stock, stomp to turn around knee. If there's one thing we saw Wizrobe do a lot of at Optic Arena, it's that crazy uh, pivot stuff he can do. Now it's Dreffin's turn to try and get an edge guard here. Falcon <laughs> kicks into the ground. That's such an unused option, but it works so well into the triple knee. And that's another stock for Wizrobe. What a turnaround. What a reversal. Falcon using his B moves, not the ones you usually see, to recover and able to convert it into a pull stock. Again, Wizard just taking center stage, has Dreffin at the ledge already. Dreffin gets back with the latest fair I've ever seen, and that will be a stock, finally. Yeah, it looks like it's been like forever since he should have closed out that stock. Wizzy's taken two stocks, because Dreffin, by all means, was winning that game at the beginning. And now he's down a full. Oh, a sick turnaround grab from Dreffin. What can he get off of it? Wow, a Raptor boost to dodge the grab, and he gets another sick combo off stage. And the, the reverse, reverse up air! Yo, Wizrobe's looking sick right now, up three stocks to one already. And this is what we're talking about. The combo game against Sheik is so nuts for Falcon if you do everything perfectly, calling out that DI over and over. If you guys, that, do you see the reverse jab hitbox on the shield? That was really wacky. That was like his armpit that hit him. Oh, he goes for the up smash. Not gonna kill quite yet. Can he get the landing punish? No, he misses the grab on the platform. He had the read. And it looks like he's still getting an edge guard opportunity here. He misses the fade back. Wizrobe back on stage. And this is exactly where Wizrobe wants Dreffin. He gets the grab, pushes him off the stage. His edge guarding has been excellent so far. Okay, he doesn't go for the stomp. This time we get a little combo. Yeah, Dreffin all the way at 97%. Great tech from Wizrobe. He's still living at 150. Can he do it again? No, Dreffin closes it out. Yeah, and at this point, Dreffin's back is so far against the wall. He's going to have to pull out something special. That reverse up air, it felt like 64. When you get the reverse up air, they just fly off the stage. That was like a 90 degree angle straight yeah, to yeah. the side, <laughs> That's man. a semi spike. That was, yeah, that was some weird DI from Dreffin. He's gonna lose game one to Wizrobe, who was looking little unstoppable. Yeah, Wizrobe looked good in his last set versus Bones, but this is like a whole nother tier of Wizrobe play. That was just incredible out the gates. Yeah, I think his combo game was just nuts, man. Yeah. I mean, he was converting so much off of stuff, and you usually expect that from Sheik in this matchup as well, but Dreffin not getting as big the follow-ups as you would expect. Mm -hmm. Now, a counterpick is going to be Yoshi's story for Dreffin. I guess he, he wants smaller blast zones, or at least a smaller stage. Yeah, smaller stage size definitely benefiting uh, Dreffin as well. Um, it's really easy to stuff Falcon because his moves are strong and they're pretty long, but they are not quick. Yeah, but that combo right there is what I was expecting more from Dreffin as he has taken control of this game so far. He misses the up smash on the top platform, but can he get the edge guard? Wow, oh, how is no. All right, I thought, I thought yeah, Wizard yeah, yeah. had successfully reverse up beat him to death. I think he just tried to wall jump reverse up there. That's not a usual Wizzy thing. A right, sick grab from Dreffin. What can he get off of this? He gets the down smash on the tech in place, and there we go. Dreffin has the lead this time. Yeah, that's big for him. He's been playing pretty well even in the last game, but he's had trouble closing out the stocks, which obviously is not a problem that Wizrobe has been having. Oh, that was just so unfortunate. Gets the ledge stolen from him with that invincibility from the death platform. 
Okay, so we can see uh, Dreffen moving to a lot of neutral airs. He's kind of like moving right above Wizrobe because Wizrobe's been using the, his neutrals of his own so often. Yeah, he's trying to interrupt Wizrobe's aerial mobility. We saw Dreffen has actually been staying grounded for the most part. And now that he's mixing it up with air movement, Wizrobe's getting forced to stay grounded by himself. Yeah, and then that's exactly the moment when Dreffen's going to go for the down tilt, get the grab, go for the dash attack. So Dreffen's now really getting his game plan going, the conditioning working very, very well for him. And that is a double jump. There's no Randall in sight, so Wizrobe's going to take the stock right back, just like he did for the first stock. Dreffen is getting these really nice advantages, and Wizrobe getting these really fast takebacks. Oh, and he expected a roll. It wasn't ready for the tech in place again. Yeah, and that is the right sort of tech chase where you do the wave dash back. It puts you in the perfect position if you get DI'd behind on um, to react to any situation. However, you know, Dreffen just not able to do it that time. Now we see the adaptation from Wizzy now throwing out back airs in the air, trying to catch Dreffen, trying to catch him interrupting. Yeah, the quirky combo gets caught by Wizzy and a Nair finisher is going to be able to get the edge guard now. Or is he? Yeah, clever wall jump back air. There's finally the knee. I was surprised he didn't go for the knee on the first combo. Mm -hmm. But he does finish out the stock. Now Wizzy gets the lead for the first time this game. And a forward throw from Dreffen. He's going to keep this edge guard going. There's no jump for Falcon. It's a dead even game. Last stock. Mm -hmm. However, Dreffen does have his back to the corner. I mean, a lot of Sheiks are comfortable there, but uh, Wizrobe is not in a rush to get himself thrown off the stage. Oh, and Dreffen's playing it so smart right now. He's just trying to space him out. He gets his grab. He goes for the forward throw again. This time, Wizzy just goes straight to the ledge. Wow, an uncharacteristic drop from Wizzy. I think that was supposed to be an up air. Yep, most likely. He doesn't even get the dash for it. Gets hit by the poof of Sheik's up B. That is unusual, too. Looks like uh, Wizzy a little shaken. Yep, up smash not quite going to connect. And Dreffen's actually missed that four times in a row now. And a great tech from Wizrobe to stay alive, but another grab. This time he catches him shielding, and this could be it. He gets him again with the grab. Can he get the fair? He can't. I think he's at too high of a percent to follow up. Man, it all comes down to this. Will he survive? He does! The knee not in time. Great landing sweet spot from Dreffen. And he catches him jumping. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, Wizrobe looks like that hurt. Wow. <laughs> I do have to say I'm a little surprised we saw the forward throw off the side. Sheik actually has this little trick she can do where you do the down throw, and they either have to DI off the stage, or if they DI behind you back onto the stage, you can get re-grab into back throw. So a little weird seeing Dreffen go for the forward throw. Maybe I... Falcon can reach the platform, and I just don't know about it or something, but, you know, keep yeah. it in mind. And it was definitely a weird percent to throw it out also as well, because we saw yeah. Wizzy could double jump air dodge back, or just double jump get back to the ledge, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like Dreffen was getting much for that forward throw. But, you know, he did win that game, yeah, so maybe, yeah, maybe something about the forward him. throw was working out, as we're being, we're being taken to Pokemon Stadium now. Yeah, much longer stage, like it'll be much more difficult to stuff Falcon the way that Dreffen was. And really that small stage allowed him to use those nares to cut off Wizrobe's aerial mobility from almost anywhere on the stage. And that's where he got his mix up from. So it's going to be more difficult to set that type of situation up. He's going to need to find a different game plan to make this work. Absolutely. And right now, Wizrobe is actually keeping the advantage strong and clean. He gets the stomp to knee. Good stuff to Dreffen. Just opting to double jump back to the ledge. But Wizrobe starting to call him out with full hops on stage. And the reverse knee closes out the first stock. Yeah, and really, like, that was more than one edge guard, but the whole sequence together, immaculate from Wizro. And now it's Dreffen's turn. He gets his grab. And now that jab F tilt is starting to work out for him. That time, Wizzy SDI'd it out. You can see the adaptation, even in these scrap situations, really coming through from these two guys. Yeah, after playing Plup for so long, you have to know, like, what beats what on that. Um that tech chase in like every scenario. Oh, and Dreffen misses the upbeat sweet spot and you can tell he's frustrated with that. The lip of Pokemon Stadium catching him off. And Wizro might just take this advantage to the bank as he's continuing to keep on the pressure. We're under the tree now. Wow, that came with a spot. Uh, was that spot dodge reaction on the up tilt? Very strange. That forward throw makes sense as he actually takes the jump this time and Wizro can't make it back. He did not want to down throw there because he probably would have gotten a tech on the tree. Yeah, that's true. And then Wizrobe would have been able to counter hit. So what uh, Dreffen decides to go for the fourth throw this time, and he got the needle on the double jump, which is not something he went for on Yoshi's story, so Wizrobe wasn't ready for it. Mm -hmm. This time I understand the forward throw. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> oh, and a call out on the full hop, but Wizzy instantly turns it back around. Nicely done. Dreffen thought he was going to take that platform. 
Yeah, with Hurt Dreffen right there, he's going for a lot of those same uh, stuffing hitboxes like the forward tilts. However, Falco's at such a low percent, it didn't knock him over. He was able to get his footing back, and he ended up converting it into a stock. And again, the SDI out on the first jab. Was he starting to figure out the mix-ups from Dreffen on these tech chases? And it uh, looks like Dreffen's just kind of dash attacking all over the stage. And you know what? It's kind of working. Oh, he did clip him with one there, but the getup attack from Wizzy saves him. So he's still at 83% and has a great stock advantage. Okay, neither of them going in unnecessarily. Yeah, a little bit of tech flubs there and more dash attacks from Dreffen, as you said. Yeah, Dreffen's definitely not that guy who's not afraid to do the same thing a bunch of times. He'll catch you by surprise by doing the same thing five times. And the sixth time, you're like, no way. And he does it again. Yeah, but that was a great mix-up because yes. Wizzy's like, okay, he's just going to dash attack again. And then Dreffen ran up and shielded and then grabbed him. And see, that's sort of like the against the grain play we were talking about. Gets the stock. And you know what? This is the, this could be the beginnings of a comeback. It could be. It very well could be. She can always make it happen. He's got some flat space to work with. Goes for the double jab this time. Was he able to get out, but he gets re-grabbed. I do like the down air, but that was an excellent slide off DI from Wizro. Oh, doesn't turn around and grab him. This is going to hurt. Yes, it is. He's off stage now. Wizro gets the back air, and there's no double jump for Dreffen. That'll be the game. Wizro making it look better in this game three. But Dreffen's still making it look close. He's catching Wizorob's neutral a lot. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We kind of saw the adjustment. He wasn't able to stuff him with those same aerials and close hitboxes on such a large stage. But he sort of gets a similar effect, although a bit weaker with the whole dash attack or run-up shield mix-up. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And he does have needles from distance. We actually don't see Dreffen use a lot of needles. Not often, The yeah. few times he has, he got a really good edge guard on Stadium, <laughs> and he got a really good neutral interaction on Yoshi's story. So I, if he used a lot more needles, we could probably see him really break down the, the fundamental neutral game Wizard of trying to pull off. Especially on those really long stages, because apparently he's doing okay on the smaller ones. And you know, on the, there's not as much room for needles on, on those. But yep. on Stadium, with that much distance in between, even though Falcon can fly through the air, the needles are going to stuff him. Yeah, I, th I think he's worried about Falcon flying through. That can get really scary. But I mean, I think if you use them a little bit, and then you get him up close to you, then you can use that same strategy you're using on stages like uh, Yoshi's or perhaps Fountain of Dreams. Well, he gets a grab first. He gets a re-grab this time on the tech. Wizrobe hasn't actually been teching a lot. And because of that, Dreffen gets a sick combo. Wizrobe already at 80 damage. And it's still going. He gets the down air again, but great DI from Wizrobe. <laughs> he walks back and forth. I definitely expected a tilt. Instead, he just ends up getting the grab. Reverse forward air cleans it up. And Dreffen's reactions on these tech rolls away is fantastic. He hit the dash attack every single time. And he gets another grab here at zero. Yep, the two jabs that time, one of the mix-ups for this. This time he does the jab forward tilt. Dreffen very aware that Wizrobe has the Smash DI um, defensive capabilities. Oh, but a bad spot touch from Dreffen. You can see he knows that he's gonna pay for it with his stock. <laughs> I think it's also um, sort of like a side contest on who can lean closer to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're definitely slowly inching forward. <laughs> There we go. There's those needles we were looking for. He's going to throw him out. And he catches him jumping again. Now he gets a grab. Dreffen is really starting to do well in these neutral exchanges. Falls through the platform when he was trying to crouch. That's a shame. Yeah, that was a weird fountain interaction. But Dreffen's still in control. Wow, what a smart grab. I really thought he was going to come up with an aerial. Doesn't get too much off of it. Wizrobe just stomping the platforms. Really strong tactic for Falcon on a stage with such low platforms. Nice call out on the uppy. Gets the needle turnaround, catches him immediately. And the turnaround needle works kind of as a feint, right? Because if he just cancels the needles and falls, he gets the ledge and covers that instead. Yeah, absolutely. That was great stuff by Dreffen. And Wizrobe uncharacteristically dropping some gentlemen's. Yeah. <laughs> Great crouch cancel from Wizro, but he wasn't able to get the full punish, and now Dreffen has a grab. Yeah, I think part of the reason he wasn't able to get the punish is uh, sort of a strategic decision by Dreffen. He really delays the dash attack. It goes all the way to the corner. He goes through Wizro, and I don't think Wizro was ready to dash back out of crouch to punish it. Oh, <laughs> he grabbed the forward smash. I think that was actually grab armor. That looked almost frame perfect. <laughs> Now he's getting the grabs and the drop zone fair. And you know, Dreffen up two stocks to one against Wizrobe. Dreffen has been looking fantastic on this stage. 
Wizro potentially running out of neutral options. The needle <laughs> made him lean back so he didn't get grabbed. Dreffen continuing to go gets another dash attack on the tech roll away. And Dreffen just looks like he's in full control. Yes. This could be a stock. Not yet, not yet. Okay, it looked like he was gonna threaten Spaced Fair and then go for a Tomahawk grab. However, yeah, Wizrobe wasn't ready for it. Now we've seen Wizrobe just go from zero to death so many times. All right, and maybe not this time. Yeah, there's the forward tilt and Wizrobe DI's hard in on the F tilt. So that will be a 2-2 for Wizrobe Dreffen right now. Yeah, in the game five, you have to imagine we're gonna go to a larger stage and there is gonna need to be some type of adjustment from Dreffen because it's really the um, lack of room for Falcon to dash either direction that's been keeping him down. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And um, with Stadium off the list and uh, the first stage would have been, was it Battlefield? I think it was Battlefield. So well, now we're down to like FD or Dreamland. Or Dreamland. So there, Dreamland. there's only big stages left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I do want to mention uh, twice that match, Contortionism. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hitbox, con Hurtbox contortion is not something you see that often. Pretty cool. And you, you, we actually see Wizrobe try and do it intentionally. With the when he, smash, when yeah. he, No, when he techs away, he goes for Raptor Boost. Oh, yeah, so yeah, So that yeah. if someone tries to grab him, he'll punish with the Raptor Boost. And it's worked two times. And it is FD we're going for. And that is a great start for Wizrobe. He gets another grab for it. And there's the tech chase. Double up air, and can he get this edge guard? Yes, he does. That is a 6-0 to death in the start of game five. Powerful stock, 15 seconds of domination. All right, Wizard, I'm just gonna, very c content to just stand in center stage dash dancing, but those needles coming through for Dreffen. Yes, kind of the counterplay we mentioned at the end of game like three. Like two or three, I think yeah. it was at the end of game three, where maybe use the needles to get him to come close so that you could run that same sort of mix-up game that you do on the smaller stages. And I think we're kind of seeing that from Dreffen. Wizrobe, I guess, already prepared for it. Um, he's getting another strong follow-up. Yeah, Wizrobe is so good at these neutral interactions at distance. Yeah, gets the weak knee. Oh, sick up air from Wizrobe. That definitely would have been death had that fair connected. <laughs> Dreffen runs all the way across the whole stage and shields. It's so funny. A forward smash out of down throw. It does end up panning out, but a back air should seal this stock. No, he's gonna switch to Zelda to try and make it back. Yeah, get a little bit of extra drift. Maybe you'll get closer. It doesn't really hurt anything. Dreffen now down two stocks. You can kind of see the frustration even as he's walking towards the edge. Yeah, I mean, even though you know that that uh, the hack sledge stall, wow. Oh my goodness, Wizro. Smooth moves. Dreffen now down one stock to four. He's not even able to take this first stock with that up smash. And Dreffen's playing games with him now. I hope he hasn't resigned himself. <laughs> Dreffen wiping his nose, which gives Wizzy <laughs> the, the time to uh, get the punish. Up smash still not to, no, no, not enough to kill. There's going to be an up air, potentially another one. Eh, this is probably going to be the end of it. No, he looks like he tried to grab, but instead he got like the light shield as he did a little too early. And after that whole close set, oh, game man. five is a four stock for Wizrobe. I mean, what more can you say? The gameplay spoke for itself. That, um, that was pretty nuts. Yeah, Draffin putting on an excellent display. Uh, he really had a good overall game plan, especially on the smaller stages. But Wizrobe just punished game too strong. Um, the long range neutral, like you were saying, too good. And uh, Draffin not able to finish stock sometimes when it really counted.